Thank you for viewing a video from BC Roasters. We're going to show you how simple it is now to download the new Artisan 1.3 and how easy it is to install it and use it with your BC Roaster, your Phoenix Oro Roaster, or your Sedona Elite Roasters with the Fuji components. From our screen, you can click on to the uh, tech page and once that loads up, you can scroll down to where it says uh, New Artisan 1.3 software and download it. And Marco and his team have put together a really nice uh, website uh, that you can view uh, for uh, providing information on both the roasters as well as uh, new information on the color themes and the various upgrades as well as a uh, starting guide, especially for those that are not using the uh, roasters that are built in to work with Artisan. Um, just another point uh, to keep in mind, let me go back to uh, our uh, tech page here. Uh, you also have the Artisan, uh, uh, along with the Artisan 1.3, download. You can uh, do the Artisan blog. You can press on the Artisan setup guide, which will give you a PDF. Uh, the Artisan video is what you're watching right now. This is the startup guide for other machines. If you're using our BC roasters and you want to hook into Artisan via Bluetooth, there's a setup guide for that. There's a few other bits and details of information about Artisan, as well as the drivers needed because the two key components in running Artisan software is having the software and then also uh, having the driver installed on your computer. Here's the startup guide for those uh, that uh, may uh, wish to use that uh, for other machines. But going back to our uh, tech page, we're going to go ahead, like I said, we're going to download Artisan. 1.3 and all the information is here for you to download that uh, and about the blog and so they have a website here that's artisan-scope.org that you can click on and it will uh, load up the page where you can install artisan right now when you click on that it brings up the choice if you're using linux computers a Mac or Windows. We're using a Mac, so when we click on it, it automatically uh, goes to the download location, which you can see it's downloading right now, but I've actually already downloaded it prior to this video. It usually only takes a couple minutes. So once it's downloaded, you can click on that file and it will bring up uh, this box, and you just click on the icon for Art Artisan and it will. Uh, uh, load it up. As you can see, I already have it loaded. So once you load up, you're going to have this screen in front of you. And uh, the, the simple way to install uh, or set up your roaster is to plug your roaster in, turn it on, plug it in USB to the computer, start up Artisan, and then hit the config button. Instead of having to go to the device and port setting, which you had to do in the past, you go to the machine setting, and here you'll see if you had have a BC roaster, you would click on that, and it might bring up that little screen, and then it will give you a, a choice of uh, communication ports, and then you click OK. And then uh, once you do that, you're good to hit on, and if you hit on, and you have it set up to a the computer and you have your driver installed this these two screens right here or settings should show the temperature that matches what's on your roaster because I do not have it set up uh, on a uh, roaster right now as I'm in my office it shows that negative one and if it shows the negative one it means that you either don't have your driver properly downloaded uh, and installed. Sometimes people download them 
and keep them in a zip file or keep them all in their downloads, but they don't actually click on them and install it, or you have the wrong driver installed. Uh, if you want to set it up for uh, the Phoenix Roaster, you do the same thing. Go down and click on Phoenix, and then it'll bring up your choice of communication ports or COM ports. And usually you can click on this and there's a choice. If you click on this and you hit the wrong choice, and, it, uh, and when you hit on the on button, it shows the zeros again like that, then that means uh, you could go ahead and hit the off button. So if you're uh, going in and you want to uh, set up for Sedona, you do the same thing and you choose the correct uh, COM port, hit OK. Then when you hit the on button, it should read or match the time or temperature on the roaster. And it, once it does that, all you have to do is hit the start button and you begin your roast. And as you notice down here, as you go through the different phases of your roast, such as after you've preheated the roaster, you would hit the charge button. Uh, that's when you charge the beans into the roaster, and then you're going to see that temperature drop uh, quite a bit on the bean temperature. Then uh, at 330, you would hit the 330 degrees Fahrenheit. You would hit the uh, uh, drying phase ending. Then when it goes into first crack, which can be anywhere from 375 degrees to 400, depending on the beans, generally speaking, you would hit the first crack begins. When first crack ends, you would hit that. And then uh, when it starts second crack, you would, uh, if you take it all the way to second crack, you would hit that. Uh, if you take it to the end of second crack, which I hope you don't, uh, just because dark roasts are taking away from all the wonderful flavors and good coffee, then you would hit that. When you're getting ready to drop your beans into the cooler, you would hit uh, into the cooling uh, compartment, you would hit that. And then a lot of people like to time the uh, cooling. So when the cooling's done on our machines, usually two to three minutes, you would hit that. When you stop the uh, roaster, it will uh, allow you to save it. You would hit save. And uh, I'm just going to put uh, test uh, and then save it wherever you'd like to on your computer. Maybe you have a file already set up for all your artisan profiles, and you would hit the Save button, which I'm not going to do. So pretty simple. If you have any questions, you can email us. Uh, uh, more importantly, you can for details about Artisan itself, you should go to their website, and you can also sign up for free email support, which really gives you a chance to explore all the detailed features that are available at Artisan. And remember, this is a shareware. There's a team that have dedicated their time at no cost, their families that have to support the, themselves. And so if you can give a modest donation, that would be awesome. Thank you for watching this video.